What's up, everybody? It's Crypto Muscle coming back to you with another YouTube video. And as you can see, as promised, I said I'm going to come back to do a 30 days zero profit, zero everything Moonberg video. And that's what it is. Today is day 30 of zero everything, zero profit, zero payouts, zero buy orders zero demand and zero proof that anybody has a moon phone and nobody's posting shadow trades does anybody do any shadow trading probably not either i mean what is going on here this thing is free falling like crazy crashing faster than the arb titanic and uh yet it's still here but yet it's free falling like crazy as i was saying so you know one thing i always like to do is go into the platform and take a look at what they got here as you can see there's no buy or sell orders since like almost two weeks now on that part so that means there's no demand for the moon coins you know they say that the bots and the stuff that they're trying to sell you personally you know Binance bots and then I guess they're still beta testing Bybit bots that you know oh it's going to create demand for the moon coins but nobody cares because nobody's buying moon coins and then this whole thing about, oh, you know, the the market crash, you know, messed up, you know, the profit potential. And so, you know, we have to recover our profits right now because of that. And look what happened the other day. You know, like, uh, it, it dipped nearly $1,000 uh, just in a matter of hours. And then it's had a slight recovery. Uh, since then, let me see if I could try to find the latest, uh, let's go over here, let's see what the latest, this is from December 14th on that price, so, so $7,100, so it has recovered right where it was, you know, when you look at it that way. So, that dip, and then pulling back up, surprisingly, they haven't mentioned it, but you know they're going to use that excuse that, oh, you know, because of the dip in the market again, it's going to further delay payouts, it's going to further delay profit, because we got to, you know, work on gaining that back, you know. So they're going to use these excuses that there's been no profit when when there was other times that the market has dipped. Because, you know, look at earlier in the year. Um, I think it reached, what, it peaked at 12, 13 for a little bit. And then it's been dropping since, but then they were still paying out profits every day. You know, they even had zero days, you know, and things like that. And But... It, it was just only for a day. It had never gone on for more than two days, you know, a day. And then it went back to its, you know, profit payouts, which were minimal anyway. So it's not like you're, they were paying a shitload of them, you know, of profits. I mean, nobody, there's never been a day where they pay more than 1%. I mean, I don't even know if they ever paid 1% on any given day. It has always been, you know, below that, you know, and they say that you they average around 0.7, 0.8% profit days. So to get a whole 1%, now that's, I don't even think they ever pay that out. But anyhow, they've had many, many days of huge profits, but still paid out, you know, the average 0.7, 0.8%. So if that's the case, but that's a lot of, you know, profit they were raking in. If you believe that they were doing 
you know, the so-called trading and all that stuff that they say they do, you know. But there's never been any proof of any bots, like, working. And they've never proven any of that. So their bots are fake. They're, they're just, you know, they're workers, they're, they're admin, whoever, whoever you want to call it. Tobias, maybe just sitting there on his computer and going through the orders and be like, you know, I'm going to buy that one. I'm going to buy that one. I'm going to buy that one. I'm not going to buy that one. You know, I'll give, I'll wait another day or two for that guy. And then I'm going to, you know, he's just going down a list of people, you know, orders and all that or whoever's doing it, you know, just going around doing buys, you know, just kind of making it look like, okay, you know, you know, you know, people, people are, you know, having their orders being bought up, you know, there's, you know, artificial buy wall that was set up by the company because that's pretty much a company buyback. There's no demand for it. So it's a company buyback on their tokens. And, you know, they only could buy back so much because, now they're holding their own bag, if you think about it. They're holding their own bag of moon coins because they're buying it back. You know, and whoever thought that the idea that the moon coin is going to rise once they put it on the free market, it's going to, you know, because of the demand and all that. I mean, it was, it's, it was a, a bit, very big reach, you know. It's a crazy reach that, I mean, even when it said that, oh, you know, they sold for a dollar eighty in the, in the order book there, you know, which is, it was just them for publicity to, you know, buy a few people's buy or, you know, sell orders and stuff at a dollar eighty just to say, hey, look, see, even, you know, the orders were bought up at a dollar eighty and stuff and it's just, it's all just a bunch of BS, you know. That's all it was. Just full of shiz. And, uh, and look where it's got them now. They want to blame the market for not paying out profits when this whole time they've been paying profits. And so look at it. Now it's day 30. You know, the, so let's go back. So no proof of bots ever, you know. No, no moon bots. When you have uh, YouTubers on board, they have to produce positive videos, fake positive videos, you know, because there's no, there's nothing really positive about it. So fake positive videos, that way they could have their own personal moon bots, because if you don't, you know, do the work, you get your moon bots taken away. So, you know, if, if guys like Bits Away... You know, well, that's why he hasn't produced any more video. He kind of touched on some negativity, but not really. It was kind of like walking the fine line. Because, I don't know, he don't want to lose that moon bot. He's trying to make that money, you know. Or actually, he's, he can't make that money because they're not even paying anyways. That's why he's kind of walking that fine line. Because, because, you know, just in case they do have some sort of comeback... He doesn't want to have that Moonbot taken away because that's his, this, that's his only income from crypto, you know. I I don't see him winning any sort of ace wins poker tournaments, you know, from going into that. Then, you know, you claim to, you know, have no money living in at your, you know, parents' home and all that. And yet, you know, you're going to do poker tournaments and living off of Moonberg, <laughs> I mean, there's only so far you can go with, with that kind of money, and now it's dry. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's nobody left out there to talk about this thing. Yeah, Moon Mad or Crypto Mad's talking about it because he, he's, he, he's one of the admins behind working for Moonberg. So, of course, he's going to pump out fake positive videos you know because that's the way it is i guess it's yeah so uh so you have that um still no moon phones they say they sent out moon phones ian j gold mentioned that 
they're going to send out his uh, tracking number to him to show that, okay, he has a moon phone coming. So he say he's still waiting for his tracking number. Um, but I, like I said in the previous video, I'd be pissed if I was Ian J. Gold or even Bits Away because they sh if they won their so-called contest, which is kind of funny because they're, you know, YouTubers won the contest. The main, you know, the main promoters of it <laughs> as well. You know, and then they actually win moon phones. They should be the ones to receive it before anybody even, they, they should have gotten it like right then and there or just right now before everybody else even gets their moon phones. Like they should, like if, if Moonberg was smart, they would have put out pictures showing proof of the phone. And tracking numbers to say, here you go, bam, this is for Bits Away, it's going to go to his house. You know, you can blur out the address, whatever, but, you know, mark Bits Away, this is the winner of the contest, he's going to be the first to receive the phone, boom. Ian J. Gold, you know, blur out the address, boom, send it to his house, you know, or, you know, this is the package being sent to his house. Just to kind of show, that's good publicity, that's a good video to put out there. But no, you know, you want to continue to produce fake positive videos and all that stuff. So, I want to reiterate that there's just, it's a zero day again at day 30. How many more days is this going to go? Because this thing is just, it's crashing. How are you going to get people's faith back into Moonberg with all this stuff that's been happening? You have paid, you've done zero for 30 days now. You know, like, well, I mean, how much, I mean, what are you trying to do? Because you think you're going to get people back? You're, you're driving people away. And I just don't get that. So, we're going to continue to be on watch. And as I want to witness this thing just crash and burn. Um, I, You know, if you think about it, this is like one of the last token platforms that are out there from the even though this thing didn't do an ICO, this is one of the last token platforms of those days, you know? Because, you, you know, I mean, you still got stuff out there like the Dropples and, you know, Evo AI that's still in the endless ICO stage. You know, Arbitraging has Apex, and Apex is just there. Uh, what else is there? There's that. I don't know. I mean, do you include Real BitConnect? Because it is kind of a token, it's a coin, whatever. Um, I don't know if you want to include them in that category, because they did have a, an ITO. But this is not quite the same as the days of the ICO, as these were, you know, these platforms were part of those ICO days. And so, uh, I don't know, people speculated that people behind Moonberg were just people that were... You know, just going going through a long line of platforms from the ICO days and just kind of accumulated funds from the all the names of the different platforms that came about, you know, and this launched as Moonberg and they already had funds into it to just launch right away. They didn't want to do the whole ICO thing because it's a dead, you know, it's a dead concept pretty much. And so... It launched right away, and that's why they're here, you know? So, but yeah, if you think about it, there hasn't been really anything, except, like I said, real big connect maybe. But, uh, yeah. So, like I said, I want to continue to watch, you know, how many more days of zero everything. Uh, moon phones, like I said, if, if anybody gets their moon phones and show it, proof of it, some way, somehow, I would I would put a, an apology video on here and say, you know what, I, I'm sorry. You know, I keep doing this and this and this, and you know, obviously it's there. And I'll I'll do a public apology on that. I don't have a problem with that. So yeah, but right now, if they do exist, they're locked away in the Arkham Secure Asylum. And uh, other than that. I guess that's all for now. We'll keep watching the zero days. So if you like my video, comment down below on anything you want to talk about. Uh, smash the like button. Smash 
uh, the bell icon and subscribe. I'll see you.